So, um, yeah, where, where did you get the Arsenal hat from? Uh, from a buddy of mine in London. A buddy of mine in London? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's not ah, my buddy, but... but, but should we start the show? Should we start the show? Yeah. Wait, should you break the news? I should break the news first. Okay, we got first two... Of all, first of all... First of all, welcome to another episode of Psychology TV. Uh, it's of course your host, Ben, Chris, here filming on a weekday here at the lovely Football Factory. Uh, got some great news we want to break, first of all. We have just surpassed our first 100 subscribers on our YouTube channel, Sokolis TV. Round of applause. Wait, <laughs> wait. I think we have one member here. Can he come here? Can he come here? This uh, is also our other surprise, guys. Look at this. We have a special guest. Uh, this is, uh, I'd like to welcome Adam from Touchline Radio. Cheers. Hey, buddy. Welcome, welcome to the show. Welcome, Adam. Thank, thank you, you for having me. No, no, no. thank uh, you for joining the Soccer yeah. Holics community. Now, I'm sorry, 100, going about 100 subscribers. I know it's not in hindsight of all the other videos out there and, and views and subscribers. It's not a lot, but, you know, we're looking to try and do this full time. And it's definitely putting us on our way. Mm -hmm. You don't think? Well, you got to start somewhere. You got to so. start somewhere small, right? Yeah. So yeah. Congratulations mm -hmm. on the milestone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. But I've, so, I've heard rumors yeah. though. We've been trying to get in touch with you for like ages now. So, what what's the deal? What, what do you do? I heard you do something called what? Touchline Radio. Can you tell us about it? Well, it yes. depends on the day. That's what I usually like to say. But <laughs> <laughs> but Touchline Radio, yes, that is a show that I've been doing. I started at Ryerson, mm -hmm. it was sort of near my fourth year and it was something that I've always done. I always spoke about football with my close friends, so yeah. I decided to actually turn that into something. So it started off as a radio show and then closer to my graduation I decided to turn into a podcast yeah. and it started off being more focused around weekly news, daily news, but now it's more of a cultural program. Yeah. I look more towards the story and the experience that people have from watching the sport, which has been around for over a century and, uh, and a little bit. So. That's awesome. And you're, you're uh, and how old are you? 26. 26, you're born in Canada? In Toronto, Toronto yeah. Toronto, right. So what, what made you first have a passion for, for the sport? Well, when I was really young, I remember not being crazy about football, actually. Uh, and it was the 98 World Cup, and I went to Poland to visit some family, and everyone was just glued to the TV. And I guess I kind of got I, kind of, I got a little high off of the energy, hearing the fans cheering and then seeing goals scored and when Ronaldo puts his head, this shirt over his head and yeah. I just got so into that that fire. So I, I was really into it and my first shirt ever, I remember mm -hmm. it's true that I was really into Ronaldo at the time, however I remember going to the, uh, to the store with my grandmother yeah. and they didn't have one. So I couldn't get one, and oh, I right. had to choose another one. And there was another team I was quite a big fan of, and that was the the Dutch side. Yeah. So I picked up an Overmars shirt. Oh, nice. Yeah. And that was Ex my Arsenal. first. Yeah. It's yeah. And Good at player. that time, it was that. current Arsenal. That's right. Yes, it was. Just so right. it was because uh, they had just won the double. So that was right. that was my gateway to it, really. Wow, that's awesome. That's really cool. That's so cool. about so and that. What type of uh, what type of uh, listeners do you get for your show? What type? I mean, who are they? Women, men, ages, young, old. Yeah. Uh, do they know? Do they call in? Do they have like a lot of knowledge about the game? Do they put you? Do they keep you on your toes? Well, at this what moment in time. About? Well, at this moment in time, mm -hmm. I think of a question. And I try to find someone to help me answer it. That's the premise of the show. Whoever's listening. I guess it varies. It depends. It's yeah. sort of within my community, but it's also global. My goal with the show is to create a voice that the whole world can listen to. And it doesn't matter who you are and where you come from, but football is a platform, is a thing that can bind everyone together. And so I try to speak to everyone from, from various experiences. I recently had uh, Elaine from Milan Obsession, which is a pretty big Milan blog. I had Ars blog on the show. I met him when I was in England, and he was also a wonderful. So... It's all about the story for me. That's and awesome. and, and that's I, story. I agree with that because you touched on a lot of key points in which our show and our community of fans that you know have been following us through our journey so far, this is what we want to bring. Yes, we I guess we're doing kind of like the video aspect while you actually do more of uh, the ability to sit down and actually draw out and actually go through the steps of why you become a fan of the game soccer. Yeah. So it, it's really great to know that there are other people out there, and it's really great to have those other people out there on our show as well. So. For sure. That's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. um, what, uh, what show do you think it's well, 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 to be honest, man, what, like, for instance, take us through, like, one of your more recent ones with the Milan blog. Uh, mm -hmm. How was their experience on the show? Like, is it more of a casual sit-down? You just sit down with them? You just 
talk soccer, you know. Well, it's tea. like I said, it's global, so I I have to connect with them through the internet. So whether yeah. it's Skype or something like that, so I have my little setup, and then I just I talk to them and. You know, I, I have my set of the direction I want to take the show in, but of yeah. course I, I do my research. I try to know exactly who of I'm course. talking to, what yes. they've spoken about recently, and that's how I kind of direct my show. That's yeah. the premise of it. But every guest I have is going to be a little different. Yeah. I, I'm connected right now with a group, uh, the, the St. Pauli Toronto uh, oh, group, cool. which is a very cool team in yeah. the Bundesliga too, yes. and they've gone through a lot of changes. So. Like I said, I, I have a question, I want to answer it, and I try to find the people to help me answer it. So that's that's what I like to do. That's good, that's, that's good. Awesome. Like, with that, because I was actually about to ask that, like, any future guests in mind, like, if you could pick, like, three future guests that were, like, reasonable for you in the next year to go get, who mm-hmm. do you yeah. think? Wow, okay. I'm going to be fairly ambitious. I'd love to have Ian Wright on the show. Oh, okay. Oh, my favorite, yeah, one of my favorite players. He's also really into, he's yeah. also active. And he's yeah. working on BBC, yep. so I think he has direct access. I'd love to have a chat with Ian Wright because I just bought his autobiography. Okay, and yeah. And he has a fascinating story, and I, I love it. Just early on, he writes about he writes about how what it was like to meet Arsene Wenger and be in the dressing room, and I love that yeah. because it puts you right in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and I those are stories that. you don't hear. Those are like as much as fans and how as much as the access we have through social media and think like, oh, we saw Ronaldo get in his car from the training ground. Yeah. Yeah. We don't. I actually had that personal experience of having to sit down with Ronaldo, go through what his head, okay, Ronaldo yeah. was having a yeah. bad practice or something, or, you know, he's coming back from an injury and such. And you don't hear that about, just think about that, that's just one club. Yeah. So all these different clubs. Like, uh, sorry to touch on the recent game that actually happened with Arsenal, but, yeah. like, that non-league atmosphere. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Venga actually touched on it, actually. It's just that there's this unique atmosphere of these people and followers you know, and maybe a community that doesn't get like the spotlight that they do, but there's some non-leaguers that can play some great soccer. Oh, I can totally see that. Totally see that. Yeah, for but sure. Well, and they can be—they don't even have to necessarily look like they're fit on camera, but they can run for 90 minutes. Exactly. Yeah, and that's what we don't even realize about football is—is is that you have to be very fit in mm-hmm. order to play week in, yeah. week out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the challenges yeah. are there. It's up there with like I would say, yeah, like you know, ice hockey and basketball running back and forth end to end mm-hmm. you know it's no stops it's a mental drain it's too it's definitely yeah it defi- that, that's something I definitely will probably say what is probably the mental block for some of these players is that sometimes they think like oh I'm at the non-league stage this is as far as I can go it's the same thing that I, why I appreciate your show you're ambitious in the sense you're not limiting yourself like oh I'm only going to do people in Toronto mm-hmm. your goal is to do global things same thing with us eventually we want to get there but it's all about developing that foundation yeah. and actually to relate back to that is just uh, how did you establish your foundation I guess here in Toronto well, I'm self-made in that sense. I wanted to do it. I found the steps I needed it to take, and I just went with it, right? Mm-hmm. So it's tough because when I try to get in touch with people, it's it's kind of send an email. There's an element of chase producing where I have to go out and try to be to, to convey... You know why I would like to invite someone, mm-hmm. but but we it, do it, it's, we it's do it week cool. in week out. Yeah. Week in week yep. out. Yep. Ben, I don't know how you do yeah. all those calls, man. I yeah. do a call or two here, an email too. You sit down there for a half an hour yeah. editing it. Yeah, but I don't stop. I don't stop until I get a yes. Mm-hmm. Well, Simple. exactly, and that's so. that's what's really cool. There's another guest I'm really looking forward to have. His name is Laurent uh, Dubois, and he's a professor in the uh, the University of uh, Duke University in the States. So mm. I recently I had a question. I was thinking about the modern game, and everyone likes to refer to how how things aren't like they used to be in the oh, '90s. Yeah, and definitely like not. That. Definitely so, changed. So there's there's yeah. there's an element of of trying to identify what it is the change. Uh, what the change is in football, yeah. right? All right, we could talk about that uh, for a long time. Yeah, well, coming we up. Could. Well, this is uh, this is part one of three. Uh, Adam's uh, agreed to stick around for another couple of uh, episodes. Of course. Teaser for episode two. Teaser part two. Episode two. Part two. Sorry. Um, we're talk why don't we talk about Toronto? Why don't we talk about your history sure. about being a soccer player and such? So definitely, yeah. guys, I want you guys to recommend. Also, as well, once again, the hundred subscribers. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, what are we on, guys? We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Twitter handle at Soccerholics TV. And then, uh, if you don't want to stick around for the next couple of parts, you, so you get the Adam's details for Touchline Radio. Adam, sure. how can they touch? How can they get in touch with you? You can actually find Touchline Radio on iTunes now, and you can also find it on SoundCloud. Just gotta look up Touchline Radio and Twitter as well. Touchline and guys, Radio. do this. You see this? The thumbs up. You gotta do that for him and us. And for guys. us, yeah. <laughs> stick around. Part two coming up. Soccerholics TV.